Start it with, settle down. Hey guys, welcome to week today's show. Bluegills, big summertime bluegills like this guy right here. Get him back quick. We're gonna give you some tips and strategies on finding these guys in the middle of the summer like this. First of all, we're sight fishing right now. We're up in some deep pencil reeds, and we're in seven foot right now. We're, I mean, you can see pencil reeds are all around the boat. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of moving the boat around a little bit and you'll see them kind of swimming in and out to these pencil reeds. So what you want to do is just sneak up, get as close as you dare that you can still cast effectively in there. And you, you're watching them hit, you can pick which sunfish you want to catch. They're a blast. These things are big out here, they're fun. I'm going to get back down there. I got to get another one. There's a good one. <laughs> things are fighters. These are good size too. These are the size you want to take home to eat. Get this out. I'll show you what I got on here. Maybe. There we go. If I get uncaught. All I have is a 16th ounce little jig and then my worm's all messed up on here right now. But you want to kind of weave it, weave your worm on here. And the trick is you got to kind of hide your hook point a little bit. There's nothing right to You can use regular night crawlers too. We just got gulp so that we can catch more fish without rebaiting so much. But your light rod, light tackle, and polarized sunglasses are the most important part of this. There, Brian's got one. They're blast. They're fun. He's a little guy. Now we're on him. I'm using the same thing. <laughs> you know these fish a lot of times you guys will get these out pulling linder eggs for walleyes and deep lakes and there's a lot of those fish out there in deep, in deep water and that but not many people come back up into these shallows late in the summer like this and they're really missing out on a lot of nice sunfish in here and there's crappies in here too if you catch them at the right time of day you just got to find these little schools like this and if we get a minute later maybe I'll show you kind of there we go. Oh, that's a little guy. There's a really easy way to find these fish. It's kind of like cheating. You can take and drive your boat through these shallows. Just go full bore right through these shallows, drive right through them, and on a calm day when you get the water calm like this, the fish will actually all surface when you go by them. And you can just turn around, go back, and fish the surface school, school and sunfish. Crappies will do that too. It's a really easy way just to Go maybe you've been on a lake you've never been on, you don't know where to start looking. Just drive around the lake. They'll let you know where they're at. Oh. You get caught on a reed. When he gets caught on a reed like that, drop your rod tip down. Let the fish swim away, and they'll kind of fight their way out of it. Just a little guy there, but fishing in these reeds, you can end up losing a lot of jigs, breaking a lot of lines. So if you drop your rod tip back like that, then that fish will just swim his way right out of the weeds, and you won't have to break your line off. Get back down there. There's a nice one down there. All right. He's like piranhas. I don't want you. <laughs> these things are a blast. And you can fish these with bobbers. This is a nice one, Brian. Yeah.
So we were getting those sunfish earlier, and sunfish are bait for bass. I mean, sunfish eat bass. And so now we're going to start looking for some bass. We got one little one, but what I'm doing is I'm working the shorelines here, and I've got a slow bait. I got a wacky rig on. It's just a hook right through the middle of a plastic worm. And my buddy here's got a fast bait. He's got a mimic minnow on, and he's casting this side, that side, this side, that side. He's covering a lot more water than I am. So I'm covering docks, little weed pockets, under falling down trees, anything that where I think a fish is just sitting there waiting. So I can work the slow stuff. He can cover this, both sides of the boat, work that fast bait, find some active fish. And basically, I'm just finding what they're wanting to eat. Are they wanting fast baits? Are they wanting slow baits? So you're just kind of working around. And a lot of times these bass, like especially with topwaters I've noticed, is you can cast the same spot three, four casts before they'll hit it. So it's good to have that, you know. We're working the boat pretty slow, just kind of fishing what we think there's fish in. Any kind of weeds will be good for this too, so. Weeds or current or rocks, trees. So we're gonna change spots now. We kind of right. caught what was in the school over there. So we're gonna go to find a different reed bed, but while we're going across the lake, I'll show you guys a little bit what you can use for these sum summertime sunfish like that. So I've got a box that's just dedicated just to panfish. This is my crappie sunfish. That's it, that's all I got in here. I got a bunch of 16th ounce jigs, uh, a couple different colors. That'll be depend on your water clarity. Um, you can go by the time of day sometimes, and sometimes they just plain old want a different color of lure. So. I'm a big fan of dark bait, so I got, I got a lot of these blacks. I really like blacks, and as you can tell, I got mostly blacks in here, but you know, sometimes it's as small as this guy's getting a bunch and I'm not getting any, so just change your colors. You want a variety. So I got tubes, I've got small twister tails, if I can get it out. Small twister tails like that, these are great for trolling like we were doing with those midsummer crappies earlier. This is great bait there. Uh, I said tubes, and then I've also got these, and I like to call them uh, fries. And it's basically just a vibrating body with a tail on the end. And all that tail does is just wiggle back and forth like that. And so you just got to experiment. That's all fishing is, and especially with sunfish and crappies, it could be one bait and one color is catching them when nothing else will touch it. So just experiment, get a bunch of different colors, get to your light rods, your light line, Go out there and just find some fish and have fun. So just be willing to explore and experiment. That was a good one. We should make a good meal. You can use bobbers doing this, but you're gonna have trouble with these pencil reeds like that. Oops. Flopping all you got. Yep. Um, this is really the best way to fish them in these pencil reeds like this. You're gonna, you're gonna get a lot less hang ups, and honestly, it's just a lot funner. You get to watch them bite. You can pick the fish you want, like I was saying earlier. There's even a little bass down there right now. But this is it's fast and furious. It's about as fast as you can get your line now. This is great with the kid and kids, or I like to squirm around a lot. Stab me. Come here. Another nice guy. You know, we're about palm size, so that's perfect to take home and eat. There's a really big one down there, and I can't get him to hit. Look at that guy. That's a nice one right there. These spring, summertime uh, sunfish like this, they don't have to be hard to find and you can make it fun for everybody. So get up in these shallow pencil reeds, drive your boat around, go real fast and wait for them to surface like that. You get, you'll see them, they'll show you where they're at. Slow down, get in there and sight fish them. This is a blast, so get out here and try this. Here's have a good one, we'll see you next week. <laughs>